New at six, just hours ago, several family members who have relatives kidnapped by Hamas spoke about the urgent need to free hundreds of hostages. And while those families spoke with 11 Alive, Hamas released new videos showing three of those hostages are still alive. Yeah, one of them is the cousin of a woman we spoke with today. 11 Alive's Palacero has that story. I sleep with a knife underneath my pillow because I'm scared the terrorists will go into my home. This is the new reality for Shani Segal and other families holding on to hope that their loved ones could come home alive. My, my cousin's alive. Sorry. Continue. That's, that's actually very good news. Yeah. Segal, whose cousin, Rimon, was kidnapped by Hamas three weeks ago, just learned Rimon is still alive. Hamas released a video where you see my cousin, Rimon. She's alive, but she's scared. And you see her looking aside, and I don't know if someone's pointing, or, you know, a gun at her. A sign of life that Orsella, whose 12 family members were kidnapped, is waiting on. Three of them, he says, were already murdered. Had to be identified by their DNA because they burned not only bodies, but also whole families inside their own homes. These are the faces of siblings, parents, cousins, even a three-year-old child. Photos each family member that spoke at the state capitol wants the world to see with the hopes that Hamas would release them. The Palestinians should be released from the captivity of Hamas as well. They are holding 2.3 million people hostage, not only our 240. Georgia lawmakers and the Israeli Consul General also pushing for change. Georgia's only Jewish state lawmaker, Esther Panich, calling on Governor Brian Kemp to reintroduce House Bill 30, which would create a state definition for anti-Semitism and in turn could help prosecute hate crimes. For those who voted no last time or who tried to block it, but say that you are against anti-Semitism, I haven't heard from any of you. She wants the bill to be read during the special called session that begins in December. Until then, these families hang on to videos for hope and these pictures for change. You don't know what to do. It's just like a very hopeless, hopeless situation. In Atlanta, Paula Suro, 11 Alive News.